Hello, welcome to my hair. In case you missed it, I gave myself a pixie cut. Uh, also, in case you missed it, I dyed my hair black a while ago using Arctic Fox Transylvania. And I'm at this point now where I'm finally ready to let go of the hair dyeing adventures and I'm going to start trying to grow my hair out and I'm going to try to reset it back to its original color which for those of you that are new here and you do not know I'm a ginger yes that's right I have naturally red hair that's why I burn like this when I go outside gardening for five minutes we're coming up on the two year anniversary since the first time that I bleached my hair and I went from red to pink when I was in Japan at the start of 2020. So the two year anniversary of not having red hair is right around the corner and I think that is the perfect time to try to go back to red. So I'm going to try and strip out Arctic Fox Transylvania from my hair and I'm going to do it using vitamin C tablets and clarifying shampoo. I posted this video here which was testing out a whole bunch of different hair color removal techniques and the one that definitely worked the best was the crushed vitamin C tablets with the clarifying shampoo. So a quick recap of the state of my hair right now. It was very long. Uh, it was bleached. We went into lockdown. The regrowth was not bleached. I tried to bleach it myself. It didn't work. Then there was more regrowth. And then because I've chopped it so short, what we're left with is essentially fresh hair. Hasn't had any proper bleach added to it. It's just had Hello Bubble which lightened it a little bit. And then it had Arctic Fox, which is just a conditioning color deposit. So the hair that I'm left with right now is not in the worst condition. I've been using Olaplex on it and it's starting to get a little bit of my natural curl back. I naturally have ringlets. As a kid, I had very short ringlets and I haven't seen them in years because of how badly damaged my hair's been. So since I started using Olaplex, I'm definitely starting to see some of the natural curl coming back out, but there are still some end bits of my hair and you can tell the difference between the bits that have had bleach on them and the bits that haven't had any bleach because the bits that have been bleached have started to fade out to blue and the bits of my hair that are still black have not had any bleach on them and the bits of my regrowth that are green <laughs> That's where my natural hair is regrowing back in and the black is bleeding onto my natural red and it's turning it green. That's all very, very confusing, I know. I'm sure that the audience is all just sitting there like... As I like to say, my hair timeline is more complicated than the X-Men franchise. But with that brief road so far out of the way, let's go smash some vitamin C. Right, so the Super Soldier Serum is ready. And uh, this is the last time that you're going to see my hair as black as it is right now. Hopefully, hopefully the black does actually come out. Here goes nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. I only used omelet on my hair for a week and this is what happened. <laughs> I just put that on dry hair. Straight on dry hair. What's wrong with me? I didn't even, I didn't even wet my hair before. It's 2 a.m. My brain is not braining. Damn it. Idiot. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Give me some lather. My father will hear about this, Potter. You know, I've noticed a lot of comments uh, on my latest video saying, I don't understand. Why doesn't she just go to a hair salon and see a professional? I don't know about you, but there's something about 20,000 COVID cases a day and sit in a hair salon for four hours that doesn't quite go hand in hand. Right, so I'm going to leave that now for Probably, let's go 30 minutes to start and we'll wash it out at the 30 minute mark and see how much of it has budged. If it hasn't budged at all, I'll reapply and leave it for an hour. If it's budged significantly, I will reapply and just leave it for another 30 or so. So given the fact that it's like 3 a.m. right now, I feel like the sun may be up by the time I am done 
stripping. <laughs> it's just really hard to apply aloe vera gel when you're wearing clothing. What can I say? Right, well, seeing as it's 2.30 in the morning, you know what time it is. Good time to go to the dentist. Get it? 2.30. Oh, I'll see myself out. 2.30 in the morning is the perfect time for a snack. And I have a really, really cool sponsor for today's video. I am finally trying a Japanese subscription snack box. You guys have been asking me to try one of these things for so long. People are always saying to me, Alex, can you please review Japanese snack boxes? And luckily for me, Zen Pop Japan reached out and said that they wanted to sponsor a video. And they've sent me a little snack box all the way from Osaka. And uh, I said to them, look, if I try your snacks and if I like them, then I'll go ahead with the sponsorship. So if you are watching this right now, it means I did indeed enjoy what came out of this little box. And if this footage is sitting on a hard drive, unwatched, it means I was not impressed by the grape fettuccine. So this is a pretty big mailing box that they've sent me here. Oh. So before I get to tasting these snacks, a little bit about the brand. Zen Pop was founded in Osaka in 2016 and its parent company is Zen Market. Some of you guys might know Zen Market as the proxy buying service. And Zen Pop has four different subscription packs that you can choose from. They have the sweets pack, which is what they've sent me here. They have a ramen pack. They have a sweets and ramen pack and they have a stationary pack. Each pack has a new and unique seasonal theme each month and limited edition packs are also available with special themes. There's one, three, six and 12 month subscription plans available. Oh my God. What is this? This is all in Japanese, so I can't even tell you what it is, but they did send this little card that says product info is online and there's a QR code. These mini scones come with a crunchy crust and a puffy portion. They have an exquisite barbecue sauce coating with the juicy taste of beef and the rich flavor of Japanese ingredients. Oh, I haven't been to Japan since 2020. January, 2020 was the last time I was there when I had my hair bleach for the first time and I went pink. I miss it so much. And the Japanese snacks that you can buy in Asian supermarkets in Australia are always the same. They're always very generic snacks that are like from major importers. So a subscription to a Japanese snack box is perfect for yourself or if you want to give it as a gift, you can buy it as a one-off purchase. You don't have to get it as a subscription. Head to the link in the description of this video and use the code PRETTYPASTEL6 to get $6 off your order. I am... Um, so excited to eat these tonight. This is literally the perfect 3 a.m. snack. I'm so happy right now. Let's see what else is in here. We've got some sort of chocolate pie kind of thing. There's a Pocky I have never seen before. <laughs> I thought I had tried every single flavor of Pocky in the world, but I've never seen this one. You have no idea how much I love Pocky. Right, well, that's what happens when you leave your Japanese subscription box on your front porch for a day in the Australian summer. Your pocky melts into a, a single block. Oh, Mmm, it's so good. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so nice. This is potato something kanji I can't read. Demigu Urasu Hanbaga. Demi Glace it says it's a feast made from genuine ingredients and wrapped into potato dough. Koyakea is probably one of the best premium chip manufacturers in Japan. These chips condense the taste of the Demi Glace hamburger with its iconic sauce made from real ingredients and not artificially created into a well balanced dough. The dough was put together with local potatoes and prepared in a giant oven. Enjoy the delicious taste of hamburger steak with a deep and rich demi glace sauce. I'm sorry, can I just repeat that? Koyakea is probably one of the best premium chip manufacturers in Japan. All right. Okay, that was... That was a sensation. It's really yummy but it's really weird. If you got mashed potato, 
Picture the flavor and the taste of mashed potato and gravy. Now make it crunchy. But then as you crunch into it, make it turn into liquid, like gooey. My senses are so confused right now. It's so nice, but it's so weird. Some sort of wasabi steak flavored biscuit thing. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh. I love wasabi. Okay, I'm going to accept this sponsorship for sure. Everything I tried was so delicious and I want to keep trying it, but also Dan is sound asleep upstairs and I feel like I should leave some snacks for him to taste. So uh, if you also want to give any of these a try, head to the link in the description box below and use the code prettypastel 6 to get $6 off your order and uh, enjoy. I promise, I promise you will enjoy. These snacks are delicious. So with that, thank you so much Zen Pop for sponsoring today's video. And uh, it has been half an hour. So I'm gonna go rinse off my hair. Okay, I, I just looked at the time and it's actually been 45 minutes. So here goes. All right, let's see. Oh, it's purple. It's purple. That's not what I was aiming for. All right, let's uh, go in with round two. Look, I know I said I was done with the hair dyeing content, but come back next week to see me buzz cut my hair and then bleach it blonde. <laughs> I'm joking. Or am I? One eternity later. I can't believe I've done this. Good morning. Um, it's currently... What time? <laughs> Nine in the morning. Nine in... <laughs> I fell asleep. I fell asleep. The second time that I put the stuff on, I was like, well, the first time it, it didn't wash out that much. You know, I left it for 30 minutes, 40, 45 minutes the first time. So I was like, I, I will leave it for an hour. I'm really, really sleepy. I know, I'll have a power nap. Yeah, that was a powerful nap. <laughs> this has been in my hair for six hours. All right, let's go check the mirror. Hey Dan, do you want to try? No. Sure, it's really yummy. I don't believe you. It's just Greek yogurt and turmeric. I feel like there's something else that you know. I won't try. <laughs> Smart move, hun. It's it's actually shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I really want to know what went through my husband's head when he came downstairs this morning, and the first thing that he saw was this. And then he saw me passed out on the couch. <laughs> All right, well, it's been well over an hour now and I'm ready to wash it off. I am in such a state. This stuff is all over me. So I'm actually going to jump in the shower and I'm gonna put my foot down. This is the final rinse fresh out of the shower. This is what it looks like. <laughs> and this is what it looks like dry. <laughs> I know, I'm sure you probably have a lot of questions. What's happening with my eye makeup, you might ask? Well, over on my vlog channel, uh, my friend Caitlin and I are watching and reacting to Euphoria season two. So to celebrate, uh, I did some Euphoria inspired makeup. And uh, yes, this is what the hair looks like. I look like a circus act. Why don't we ask my lovely son what he thinks? Wow. What does Archie think of mommy's hair? Do you like it? What? You don't like it? It's still me. I promise it's still, it is, it's still me. Yep. So I was thinking of possibly washing my hair one more time. Just one more. 
Like I, I know I said after three washes with the vitamin C, I'd be done, but there's still a couple more tablets left in the bottom of the bottle. This is well and truly my last, last attempt because I am now out of vitamin C tablets and I'm not going to buy any more. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, this does something. <laughs> right, well, it's finally happened. I finally have very blue hair. <laughs> I said for a very long time I was going to dye my hair blue. Turns out I, I didn't have to. I just had to dye it black and then the blue came along with it. If it weren't for my regrowth, I would actually keep the blue pixie cut for a while. I, I don't mind the blue hair. The problem is when you have lighter hair like I do and darker on the ends, as your lighter hair starts to grow, it looks a little bit weird. It, it looks like I'm just missing patches of hair. So it, I don't want to re-dye my regrowth because obviously, as you guys know, I'm trying to go back to red. So. If it weren't for that, I would keep this for a little while, but I just wanted to show you what the color is like. I've been using Olaplex, as some of you know, and my hair feels very soft, which is really nice. I'm really excited because uh, Paul Watts, the hairdresser I've been talking to over in England, he's organized for Joyco to send me their four-step hair treatment kit, which is supposedly like this absolutely incredible hair repair treatment that turns dry and damaged hair into luscious, beautiful, voluminous, shiny locks. So once that arrives, I'm going to start using that. So I'm not too concerned about the condition of my hair at the moment. Mostly, mostly the color. That is what I'm concerned about. At the back here, you can see it's definitely throwing more green where the hair is shorter. So apparently red cancels out green. So lucky for me, that is the color that I'm aiming for. So in the next video, I'm going to be trying a couple of different red hair dyes to see if any of them can possibly cancel out the greenish tones. I don't know what's gonna happen putting red over this blue color though. It's not a true blue, it's kind of like an aqua almost. So I really hope that doesn't turn it purple. So if you've got any tips for me, please leave them in the comment section down below. I have uh, some Schwarzkopf Live red colors that I'd like to try. I've also got some Arctic Fox red and I have a Hello Bubble red as well. That's the last one that I'm going to try because Hello Bubble has a small amount of peroxide in it, I think, because it seems to lighten natural hair. So that's the last one I'd like to use. I'd like to use just the color depositing ones before I use anything that could possibly have any chemicals in it. So stay tuned for that video. I'm so excited. I, I just, I can't wait to go back to red. I've loved doing all these different hair colors in lockdown. It's been so much fun. It's been a great way to keep my mind off what's happening in the world outside as I lock myself in this house and do crazy things to my hair that no one in real life is going to see. <laughs> it's been over two years now since I had red hair and I miss it so much and I can't wait to get the color back and then watch it get slowly longer and longer. So please subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to keep up with my hair adventures, check out my second channel, my vlog channel. I'll put the link to it in the description box below. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.